Hey everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Um, so we're going to start off where we left off. Now in the last video we were talking about detecting clicks and uh, pretty much checking and seeing if we're hitting something uh, with our Raycast and today we're going to continue building on that. Um, and what we now need is we need a way to differentiate when we hit a game object in our hierarchy in our scene we want to get some information about what we actually hit. And we can do that through the use of something called tags, okay? So essentially what we can do is we can go on our game objects and we can give them a custom tag. And when we hit, right, when we hit the Raycast, we can check if the tag that we hit matches the one that we're looking for, okay? So just to give you an example over here, earlier on we had the main camera which came along with when we created the project. And notice over here in the tag field, it had already tagged this as main camera. Okay, so because 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 it was already tagged as a main camera, uh, we were able to do something like camera dot main and automatically have Unity know that hey, we're talking about the main camera in the scene. Okay, so just like our camera has this tag, the main camera tag, we can go ahead and tag our zombies as well. So when I go here on one of my zombies, I can click here on tag and I can give it any of these tags or I can create my own custom tag and I'm going to go ahead and click this plus sign here. Now the reason why there there seems to be some of these removed ones was because I was pretty much just testing and fooling around with it, uh, but you should not necessarily have those there. I'm going to hit the tag button and I'm going to create a, the enemy tag. Here, I'm just gonna call it enemy. You can call it zombie, you can call it whatever. As long as you remember what you called it, you should be good, okay? So I'm gonna hit save here and it shows this tag here. If I now go back onto my zombie, notice here in this list I can find enemy, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of my zombies and I'm gonna give them the enemy tag. Again, what this does is that it helps me identify when I hit something, I can now check, hey, does the object that you hit have the enemy tag, okay? So. Now that, we've, uh, now that we have uh, essentially tagged the zombie, I can switch over to Visual Studios and I can start in this case here, I can check, hey, when we hit something, is the thing that we hit a zombie, okay? So the way we can do that is if hit.collider.tag is equal equal to enemy, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this debug line. Here's what we did. We did check if Raycast hit something. Okay, so over here we did, hey, check and tell me if the hit collider is not equal to zero. Okay, or if it's not no. So essentially, we first did a check, hey, tell me if my Raycast hit something. If it hit something, check again, hey, did it hit a collider with the tag enemy? Okay, so if it hit something, tell me if it hit an enemy, okay? Now if I save this here, and let's go ahead and drop a debug line in here, and instead of saying we hit something, I'm gonna say we hit enemy, okay? Okay, so now that we've got this set, if I switch over back to Unity, then everything should run as we expect. So if I now hit the play button, we'll see what sort of behavior we get. If I hit the enemy, it should say, hit enemy, and if I hit one of these masks, it should not detect anything. So if I keep clicking here, but notice how when I'm clicking here, it still seems to be detecting hits over here and what's going on over here, okay? So the situation that's happening here is that we're shooting a Raycast into the world, okay? And I'm gonna switch over to 3D view to try and explain some of this, okay? So let's see, we have our camera, and we're shooting a raycast from our camera into these um, essentially game objects, okay? But the problem is that even though these game objects, let's say this zombie here, right? And if I look at this mask here, even though they both have colliders, they're right on top of each other, okay? So because they're right on top of each other, then Unity doesn't necessarily know which collider or, you know, they're kind of overlapping. So. Essentially, when you shoot the Raycast, Unity is a bit confused. Hey, there's two colliders here. Um, so what we can do to change this is we can select all of our masks, and in the third dimension, we can sort of move 
them here like so. Notice even if I move them up like so much in the game view, it doesn't matter because we're looking at it, you know, in a 2D um, sort of a, a scene. But uh, when I move it to 3D, then this is actually what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and move these back a little bit, um, even though it doesn't matter. Uh, but now these colliders that are on these masks are most definitely going to be hit before the colliders on the zombies, okay? So if I hit play now and if I run the game and see what happens again, um, now when I click over here, all the way down here, it doesn't seem to be recognizing any hits um, since it's not hitting anything which has the tag enemy. If the enemy pops up and if I click on him here, it says, hey, you did hit the enemy. So things seem to be really coming along well. One thing that I noticed though was I felt like my zombies were a little bit too small. So I wanna try and maybe uh, beef them up a little bit. Let's see. Um, so if I try and increase their scale to 1.5, 1.5, and see how that looks when I enable my mask. Uh, hopefully they still all fit. And if I now hit play really quickly, just to test and make sure everything is working, and sure enough, things seem to be progressing. So yeah, in, in this video, we have so far been talking about how we can detect exactly what game object we are really hitting. Um, you can see there's some sort of, uh, you know, you can kind of see the zombie a little bit, but we can fix that later. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really good stopping point um, and we will continue off in the next video.